hello everyone. So, we will continue with the uh, measurement techniques of tactile responses of fabrics. So, we are uh, continuing with uh, subjective assessment techniques. The after the technique uh, uh, proposed by Matsuo, who adapted Weber's and uh, Fessner's uh, law of psychophysics. Next is that uh, the technique is uh, by Kawabata, who has developed the subjective assessment technique. The assessment of fabric handle characteristics was based on tactile sensation caused by fabric mechanical and surface characteristics. Okay. And uh, the final judgment of the fabric, the handle judgment is based on the suitability of mechanical and surface property for a particular application. Okay. Because that uh, particular application that may be uh, may not be actually suitable for other end use okay, for a particular fabric. Suppose a part, for a particular application, we may need a stiff fabric okay, that but or for other application we may need altogether different aspects. So, the final judgment is based on the particular application. So, this all this subjective judgment they have got their own limitations. So, this uh, although this gives directly uh, it is correlated with the tactile comfort of clothing uh, like a sense of touch, okay. but they have their limitation. Okay. So, this uh, sensation of roughness, sensation of uh, smoothness, softness, harshness, flexibility, thickness, scratchiness okay, against the skin that we can directly sense, but main problem is that it is a lack of repeatability and chances of error actually and it depends on judge person to person. Okay. So, even a particular fabric it is a for a person I may perceive a particular fabric uh, differently at different uh, actually mental condition psychological con condition. So, that actually creates problem this subjectivity it is a it depends it, it changes with the environment although it is a it is actual sensation, but getting a standard value it is difficult. Dep it, if my physiological condition changes I will perceive a fabric differently this is actual subjective responses, but the repeatability is not there. We cannot give a particular uh, value we cannot uh, reproduce the value particular fabric. So, to reproduce or uh, to get a standard value irrespective of the judgment irrespective of the perception we need a measurement technique which is objective in nature. So, now we will discuss the different objective measurement technique for fabric tactile responses or fabric handle related characteristics. It is actually proposed long back by Pierce in 1930s and Pierce identified the fabric tactile responses various tactile characteristics of fabric which directly sends tactile responses. These are bending, compression, specific volume and surface property. So, Pierce in 1930s long back he proposed that if we measure bending stiffness, if we measure compressional characteristics or specific volume of fabric or surface characteristics that will these things will give our tactile responses. Then in 1958 Howarth and Oliver identified three attributes for shooting fabric these are surface smoothness, fabric stiffness and thickness these are all measurable. So, objectively if we can measure these characteristics we will get the tactile response Ta actually we can guess the tactile responses of fabric. Next in 1980s 
So, Japanese team they have come up with different attributes for one is for summer clothing and other set is for winter clothing. They have actually uh, devised different objective aspects like fullness if we can measure the fullness or springiness, stiffness, crispness and hardness. So, these four characteristics are directly related with the summer clothing and the winter clothing they have come up with these aspects of smoothness, fullness and springiness. These three aspects are related with the winter clothing like springiness and stiffness these are common for both summer and winter, fullness is common for summer and winter, but smoothness in winter what they have proposed that in winter clothing we, we actually uh, need smoothness characteristics, we have to measure smoothness, smoothness characteristics for at least for winter clothing. Similarly, for summer clothing the crispness or hardness they are important, okay. they measure the crispness or hardness. Then Winokur et al in 1980s after that, so uh, after Japanese uh, they have proposed, they have come up with a wide range of characteristics, wide range of field. Okay. So, and they have correlated with the fabric characteristic like bending, if we measure the bending rigidity, it will give idea about the stiffness of fabric, whether the fabric is stiff or limp, we can get idea about by measuring the bending rigidity of the fabric. Similarly, if we can measure the frictional coefficient, what they have proposed we can measure the roughness characteristics. If we measure the thickness and compressional deformation, so then we can measure the fabric handle related characteristics. So, they have proposed nine actually pairs of polar of adjectives and they have actually they found that these are related with some of the fabric objective mechanical characteristic. So, this nine pairs of polar object adjectives are whether the fabric is limp or crisp, is it flexible or stiff. So, these are the subjective responses, we can tell okay, you tell the whether the fabric is limp or crisp, is it flexible or stiff, is it firm or sledgy, is it scratchy or silky. So, these are the terms, so polar ad adjective, so that the person who is perceiving the sensation, this type of tactile sensation we can actually get fine or coarse, is it the fabric is fine or coarse, smooth or rough, soft or hard, light or heavy, thin or thick. So, these are the actually expert, they sense this tactile sensory attributes okay. and they are related with the low stress mechanical characteristics and this group they have actually proposed that these are we can correlate with the low stress mechanical characteristics of the fabric. There are various mechanical characteristics and they could actually find that these all nine adjectives are these are all this tactile attributes are related with the mechanical characteristics. Let us see how are they related with the mechanical characteristics. Now, try to see limp or crisp, film or sledgy, flexible or stiff, uh, these attributes tactile attributes are directly related with the bending rigidity. 
if we can measure the bending of fabric that they have fabric characteristics that we can if we can measure the fabric bending characteristics we can get idea about this this polar attributes scratchy or silky smooth rough fine coarse they, they are related with the fabric frictional characteristics so if we by measuring the frictional characteristics we can get all this characteristic idea but frictional characteristics will not only help in this aspect what type of friction is there, is there any stick slip is there any uh, what is the frictional uh, curve characteristic curve what is nature of curve mu will give some idea but whether the fabric is fine or coarse this type of characteristics we can get by detail analysis thick and thin definitely by thickness fabric heavy or light definitely by measuring the mass per unit area and soft and hard it is by compressional characteristics. So, if we measure the bending friction thickness mass per unit area and compression these are the mechanical uh, characteristics by physical measurement we can get the value and we can actually we can propose we can uh, get idea about this tactile responses. Next measurement is that objective measurement is a Kawata instrument which is most popular very popular instrument of objectively measuring the fabric handle characteristics. So, Kawata system it measures the tensile characteristics low stress mechanical characteristics it is not the up to the end point up to the breaking point it is at low stress mechanical characteristics the tensile characteristics it measures it measures the say shear behavior bending rigidity bending characteristics compressional characteristics and surface related properties so they have it has got uh, four different test modules we will discuss one by one in detail in uh, Module 1 it measures the tensile and shear related characteristics, then it is a bending compression and uh, fourth one it related it uh, measures the surface related characteristics. So, Kawabata again like uh, uh, earlier Kawabata also gives idea about the fabric handle related characteristics or fabric tactile characteristics correlated with the fabric mechanical low stress mechanical characteristics. Okay. So, what he has proposed he has proposed six different terms like Koshi, Hari, Fukurami, Kishimi, Sinaya Kasha and Shari. This six characteristics this Japanese term they are act related with the fabric low stress mechanical characteristics directly. So, let us discuss in detail like Koshi it is the hand expression is Koshi, it is related with the stiffness, it is directly not stiffness, it is not the exact stiffness, it is uh, some feeling, feeling of stiffness. We, we may uh, by Koshi, we cannot directly say it is a, a stiff or okay. higher stiffness will give you higher Koshi value, but it is not we cannot say it is directly it is stiffness, it is a feeling of stiffness. Now, we can it is a tactile feeling of stiffness it is a Koshi. Similarly, hurry it is a anti drape stiffness again it is a stiffness, but Koshi and hurry they are different it is a anti drape stiffness we have to actually get the expression. So, uh, and see there is there is a difference between Koshi and uh, Hari. 
but this difference we cannot express we have to actually feel and by that feel we can get from different characteristics and we can measure the hurry that and we will discuss one by one we will discuss different research study then we will get clear idea and these are these handle related expressions are directly gives us as uh, the tactile responses fukurami it is a fullness and softness it is not the softness alone it is a fullness some fullness characteristics okay. kissimi it is a scroopy silk like feeling it is a not smooth it is not pure smooth it is a silk like scroopy feeling some harshness something some softness some smoothness this type of feeling it is kissimi sinayakasha it is a soft flexible and smooth feeling like this fukurami softness and sinayakasha softness they are different it is softness along with the flexibility along with the smoothness if we get some combined feeling it gives the sinayakasha then crispness this is a crispness it's a it's a not the softness it's not the smoothness some crispy feeling like some uh, particular fabric if we touch it gives some crispy feeling so that is, is it's a shari now let us see now to get this value how what are the handle or low stress mechanical characteristics related with this cosy value or this type of values like cosy what we have seen it is a stiffness it is a stiffness it is primary related to with the bending stiffness it is not the only it is a primary it is bending related now if we try to get idea about the cosy not the stiffness it is a fabric with a compact oven structure made from springy and elastic yarn result a high cosy value that is the that is type of stiffness we are talking about. If we develop a fabric with a stiff yarn like uh, we are developing a fabric with a stiff rod with the open structure it gives stiffness it it is like this is a stiff uh, material this will not give high cosy value this is not the cosy value we are talking about the cosy is different suppose let us see a fabric we are producing from same warp and weft and same yarn we are using now imagine that we are increasing the ends per inch and picks per inch gradually keeping the fabric same keeping the yarn same keeping it suppose it is a oven fabric a fabric with lower ends per inch and picks per inch gradually you are increasing and it has become compact high ends per inch and picks per inch same almost same thickness same yarns we are using and it is stiffness will gradually increase as we increase the ends per inch and picks per inch and that we can say it is it is cosy value is increasing the type of stiffness it is increasing due to the increase in weave structure compactness of the weave structure and with that compactness now we are introducing one springy and elastic yarn like we are using coarse spun coarse spun uh, elastic elastin yarn elastin coarse spun yarn we are using 
and we are giving a compact structure like denim with a compact denim with elastin yarn stretchable denim that type of stiffness is cosy value. It is not the stiff fabric, it is a that uh, type of higher stiffness value, it is a cosy value. Okay. If we suppose a cloth, we are uh, giving a starch treatment, a cotton fabric giving a starch treatment, it gives it, uh, it becomes stiff, that does not mean we are increasing the cosy value. Cosy means cosy softness will be there, but it is a feeling is like that, okay. it is a like hurry, it is anti drape stiffness, it is a basically it is it cannot conform to our body, it is opposite to lymph conformability, like a fabric which is actually uh, taking the shape that type, it is it is a it is not like cushion cover or may be a sofa cover, it is conforming to the shape of the uh, particular uh, furniture or anything any cover. If it easily conform, conform to that shape, that is basically it is a uh, that type of it is it is called it is a less hurry value. And if it does not conform to that shape, we can say it is a hurry value is high. That means, it is not directly related to the only the bending rigidity, it is related with the many other characteristics. And uh, Kawabata and his group they have proposed that these are uh, related with the combination of all the more than one. Uh, low stress mechanical characteristics with their different level of importance. Fukurami, it is a fullness and softness does not mean that it is a, a fabric which is soft will give higher Fukurami value. It is a feeling, it is a tactile sensation, a sensation coming from a combination of bulk, rich and well formed impressions. That means, it has to be a bulk and rich value and well formed in, in, uh, impression okay. and springy property in compression and thickness accompanied by warm feeling that actually reflects this quality. It is not only the compression, it has to be springy in nature that means, resilience should be there the warm uh, feeling should be there. Okay. So, that that type of feeling is actually it is a Fukurami, it is a fullness, it is a richness, okay. well formed impression okay. that means, it has to come back springiness. So, that gives the Fukurami value. So, that means, if we measure the compression, it is the no, not the only idea. So, it may be related with the bending, it may be related with other things. Next one is the Kishimi. Kishimi is it is a scroopy or silk like feel. So, it is a related with the fabric thickness, weight, tensile shear. So, tens both, both tensile characteristics, shear characteristics and surface properties. So, this will give as the value. So, uh, if we keep everything constant, so our tensile characteristics like tensile elongation or shear characteristics change, then the this Kishimi value will change. That, that, that means, Kishimi value if we it is a function of the fabric thickness, weight, tensile, shear and surface characteristics, but their importance relative importance may be different, but they are related with it. So, it is not the if we take a silk fabric it may not be the scroopy always it is a may not be scroopy. So, that scroopy and silk like feeling. 
So, if we touch the fabric, we we'll, we tell the rotor this is a silk fabric. We can make it. So, if we it, uh, if we wear some silk cloth, we can we can tell that it's a silk fabric. So, that type of feel feeling is called it's a scroopy feeling. Sina yakasha. It's a soft, flexible, and smooth feeling. So, it's a not the only characteristic we can say. It's a surface related characteristics. It's a bending related characteristics, shear related characteristics. Okay. So, that that type of feeling it is a senior yakasha, it is influenced by bending, shear, compressional characteristics. Okay. Like if we have say higher shear, if we change the shear, it is a totally characteristics will change. Shari, it is very commonly used, crispness, crispness in a fabric, a feeling coming from a crisp and ridged fabric surface. It is not smooth surface. If we actually move uh, the our finger, it should be some crispiness, some crispy sound should come that we can tell it is crispiness. It is observed in densely woven fabric made from hard twisted yarn. We can just tell it. So, if we develop a fabric with a soft yarn, very low twisted yarn low twisted open structure yeah that type of feeling it's it will not give our scroopy feeling now if we keep on increasing the uh, yarn density with a soft yarn this this will give some soft feeling that will not get the that type of scroopy feeling some ridged structure okay the fabric surface that we will not get but if we twist, if we make a uh, yarn with a say hard twisted yarn like crepe fabric, we know a georgette type of fabric, different high twisted fabric if we use and if we touch, we will feel some crispy touch. It is talking about that type of feeling and it gives a cool touch feeling. It's, uh, it gives us uh, some uh, some particular stand a uh, feelings like foil. It gives some uh, special feeling which is shari, some special crispiness. So there are two commercially successful instrument setups are available. These are for measuring the low stress mechanical characteristics and surface characteristics of fabric. These are Kawabata evaluation system as we have mentioned and fabric assurance by simple test fast measurement. So, we will uh, discuss details about the Kawabata systems one by one and then we will discuss fabric assurance by simple test method fast techniques. So, this subjective assessment of uh, fabrics like smoothness, firmness, fullness, crispness, hardness, they are directly related with the objective assessment of fabric. So, if we can measure the low stress mechanical characteristics objectively like tensile and shear, bending, compression, surface roughness, surface friction, this all these characteristics objective characteristics are directly correlated with the subjective assessment that is subjective response of the wearer like a tactile these are the tactile responses that whether the fabric is smooth or rough they are related with this criteria firm fullness they are related with the this criteria but the importance of this criteria may be different little bit crispness are related with all this criteria and the Kawabata and his team they have developed equation okay, statistical equation to measure to correlate this objective parameters with the this subjective. So, KESF they have uh, actually it is four modules of measuring 
the low stress mechanical characteristics. So, Kawabata evaluation system for fabric one, which actually takes care of the tensile low stress measurement of tensile and shear characteristics. KSF 2 it measures the bending related characteristics, fabric bending related characteristics. KSF 3 it measures the, the compression related characteristics, the compressibility of a fabric recovery related characteristics it is measured by KSF 3 technique and KSF 4 for measurement of surface friction and roughness characteristics. So, this four techniques and it gives all this uh, four um, techniques they give wide range of um, large number of parameters and if we correlate all these parameters with the uh, subjective assessment or uh, this um, tactile responses we can get some uh, standard equations for a particular fabric. So, uh, fabric specimen in a KSF 1 system, the fabric specimen is actually clamped by two jaws, there are two jaws and in KSF 1 we measure two techniques, two parameters one is tensile related characteristics and other is the fabric shear related characteristics. So, here the fabric sample is clamped between two jaws. So, one jaw is actually it is um, connected with it is uh, um, placed on a uh, rotating drum and another jaw is a transversely sliding uh, jaw it is a slider. So, one jaw is attached with the drum for tensile force application. So, as the drum rotates it applies the tensile load okay. and this drum rotates clockwise and anti clockwise and uh, constant tension of train gram force per centimeter is applied by actually attaching a uh, weight on a drum. So, that constant uh, tension in its ten initial tension is applied that is 10 gram force per centimeter. Okay. So, depending on the uh, width of the fabric sample the tension we can change to keep this this is the low at a lower level of uh, tension. So, to keep the fabric straight condition. So, as I have mentioned the other jaw is attached with a slide that slide moves laterally to impart the shear force. Okay. The picture gives the working principle of this instrument here this is the fabric sample fabric specimen which is actually there are two jaws this is one jaw which is attached with the rotating drum. Okay. This drum when it rotates clockwise it extends the this gives extension to the fabric sample and gives the tensile load and uh, during recovery it gives the recovery. Now, the, the difference here in uh, Kawabata system and with other tensile or other measurement technique is that here it is a low at it works at low stress uh, mechanical characteristics low at low stress level and it gives the totality carbon totality means it, it gives the extension and recovery. It actually records the value of force and displacement during extension and also during recovery. So, it is uh, true for shear, true for uh, it is uh, bending, it is true for the uh, compression also. Okay. Now, here as it is uh, rotating clockwise it gives the extension and during its uh, anti clockwise movement of the drum the 
it's a um, uh, reverse, it's a recovery um, curve is achieved. Okay. Similarly, the shear is achieved by this slider. This is the slide for the shear force application. This slider moves laterally like this. Okay. this when it moves this uh, direction, there is a shear and during return it comes back. Okay. So, so, during the uh, lateral movement it gives the shear. Now, the rotation of the curve, rotation of the drums, it is actually it is connected with some uh, gear arrangement and this uh, it is connected through the tensile force detector, it is a torque sensor. Through this torque sensor, it gives the amount of force to rotate the drum, which is indirectly which gives the force to extend the fabric. So, this tensile force is detected by this sensor here and what about the tensile extension? This extension here is detected by the rotation amount of rotation of this drum and that, that is sensed by the tensile strain detector. This is this actually sense the it is a angular rotation. Okay. So, this two sensor gets the gives the tensile uh, force and stress and strain. The senses and the signals from this two sensor uh, gives the tensile character uh, tensile curve. Similarly, the this slider movement gives the shear it, it it helps in shearing the fabric and uh, this shear force detector means the amount of force required to rotate uh, to slide amount of force required to slide this slider is sensed by the shear force detector and the amount of sliding is detected by the shear strain that is the this angle of rotation is directly proportional to the amount of slide. So, the sensor this this is the this strain sensor and this is the shear force sensor it gives the shear stress strain curve. Okay. So, from this so shear the tensile force is uh, measured by torque sensor since uh, tensile strain is uh, measured by the angle of rotation of the drum shear force is measured by the transducer force required to slide and shear strain is the displacement of the slider. So, displacement of slide is a rotate, uh, measured by the angular rotation of this slider, this is the slide angular rotation of the this detector. So, from there we can get the uh, shear strain. Okay. Now, let us see the animation. Now, first we will uh, play for the tensile characteristics. So, this is the drum. So, for tensile characteristics when we measure. So, uh, in this instrument it works uh, only one at a time. We cannot work both normally we, do, we cannot work. So, this will actually this is when tensile characteristics we will measure this drum will be activated drum will rotate, but slider will be stopped. So, this let us see. Now, the drum has started rotating clockwise. Now, tensile force is uh, detected okay, by the tensile force detector and it is now it is uh, coming back Tra drum is rotating started rotating anti clockwise direction and it is coming back and at this point it has come back it is original position. Now, the tensile total cycle is completed. Now, we can see here the important fact is that in this technique as we have mentioned that it takes care of the loading and unloading characteristics total characteristics. Okay. So, from this curve tensile and uh, loading and unloading we get different parameters. So, all these parameters from loading and unloading we get different parameters and from uh, shear we get uh, different parameters. So, loading we uh, from loading curve we can measure the tensile energy 
eddy under the curve, linearity of the curve and resilience. Similarly, for shearing we get set of characteristics. So, this characteristics and all the parameters. So, uh, there are different uh, test parameters are there, there are different settings are there. This we will discuss in uh, next class and we will continue with this uh, Kawabata um, evaluation system measurement. So, thank you for this day.